God never changes. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The scripture says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but the word of the Lord will not. Therefore, trust every word the Lord is saying to you, and because He has done it in the past, He will do it again. It doesn't matter how big you think your situation is. It doesn't matter where you are coming from and what people have said. God is going to break protocol on your behalf. He will perform a miracle in your life that people will see and know that it can only be God. All those that have mocked and laughed at you will come back and celebrate with you because the Lord is about to give you a new beginning. Sometimes it may look as if God is never going to answer your prayers. The devil may even deceive you into believing that it is a waste of time to wait on God, but the way God operates is different from that of man. He sees the end from the beginning, and his time is always perfect. Therefore, if God has not answered your prayers, it is not the right time. But this is your time, your season, and your turn. The Lord will make His face shine upon you, and He will restore all the years of pain and sorrow in your life, because when God chooses to remember a man, His life will never be the same. Do not allow the devil to deceive you. Your miracle has come, and He doesn't want you to have it. But if you hold on to God, your prayers will be answered. Sometimes we feel bad when God does not answer our prayers because we feel we have been faithful to Him. The challenges do not only come to unbelievers, but believers also face them. God did not promise us a smooth journey, but He will be with us all the way. If Abraham could wait for a hundred years, then it is not wise to give up on God. From today, you will have a reason to smile because just the way the Lord remembered Abraham, He will remember you. God's ears are not deaf that He cannot hear you. His eyes are not blind that He cannot see what is happening in your life. And His hands are not short that He cannot reach out to you. Rather, it is our iniquities that have separated us from Him. Rejoice in the Lord. It doesn't matter if things are not getting better. Rejoice even when there is no way because God is going to make a way for you. He is going to put a new song in your mouth and you will have a reason to smile and be happy. His words say He is going to restore all the years that the locusts have eaten. Therefore, know that when God chooses to hear your cry, He will not only answer your prayers, but He will make up for all the years you were waiting on Him. Rejoice, be happy, and do not doubt because what God is about to do in your life will not only surprise you, but those around you. The plans of God for your life are of good and not of evil that will take you to your expected end. Jesus says, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, and neither has the heart of man conceived that which God is going to do for those that love him. Therefore, when things are not going well in your life, when it looks like your prayers will never be answered, do not give up because God does not have any evil intention towards you. The problem we have today is that we don't truly believe the word of God. We confess it with our mouth, but we don't believe it in our hearts. When you think your problem is bigger than your God, then He might not be able to help you. The doctors may have said you will never be able to conceive again, but that does not mean you should give up on God. Who is man to say a thing if God has not said it? You should learn to trust God and not man because man is bound to fail you, but God will never fail you. Your suffering has come to an end. Weeping may last for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Therefore, your weeping nights are over and your morning of joy has come. People will look at your life and give glory to God. They will know that it can only be God. 
you will be so amazed at where God is about to take you. He is going to elevate you beyond your wildest imagination. You will stand before kings and not mere men. The Lord will favor you to the point that wherever you go, people will go out of their way to bless you. You will receive blessings when you are going out and when you come in. From today, all things will work together for your good. When men are saying there is a casting down, you will say there is a lifting up because the Lord has heard your cry. If you have been praying to God for a job, He has heard you and you will no longer struggle for it. It is going to come to you. Where your qualifications cannot take you, the favor of the Lord will take you there. Poverty will be far from you and your household. The economy of your country will not affect your financial status and you will never go hungry. If you are trusting God for a partner, He has heard your cry. You will not only get married, but you will marry the right person God has destined for you. Your marriage is going to be heaven on earth, and joy, happiness, and laughter will never cease from your home. If you are believing God for a child, He has heard your cry. You will not only have a child, but children, children that will be stars to their generation and will wipe away every tear from your eyes. Do not worry and do not lose hope. The Lord has heard your cry. He is going to answer the desires of your heart, and you will know that it is good to wait on the Lord. Testimony upon testimony is going to be your portion. There is nothing difficult for the Lord to do, and what is difficult for Him does not exist. God is willing to give you a new glory if only you are ready to restitute your ways before God. When you do this, God will fight your battles and give you victory over your enemies. The moment you trust God's will to fight for you, then He will surely fight your battles. People who think you will amount to nothing will be shocked because they do not know what God has in store for you. God will be preparing your blessings as long as you are serving God and doing His will. No matter what you pass through, it is just for a while. God is only preparing you for your greatness ahead. Do not let mockers and evil ones discourage you. Rather, key into God's word and promises. God's promises are yea and amen. Stay humble, stay courageous, endure to the end and God will surely surprise you. It is possible that many people have condemned you based on your misdeeds in the past. They look down on you as someone who is a failure. Your family has no regard for you because they feel you can never amount to something good. Even the Church of God may have castigated you because they feel you are a sinner. Man may scorn, mock, and look down on you, but God will never do that. He will take you from the miry clay and lift you up as He said in Psalm chapter 40 verse 2. All God is asking of you is to open your heart to Him. God is a God of second chance. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us on the cross of Calvary. God has not written you off even though man has. God is still giving you that second chance no matter how brutal and evil your past might have been. He wants you to repent and start afresh with Him. He will change you totally for good. Those who think you will not amount to someone of substance would come crawling at your feet. God will shame them, because even in the glory of the later shall be greater than the former. Just keep believing on His promises, and He will lift you up and make you bigger than your wildest imagination.